everybody, this is Dieter Bone at the Steve Jobs Theater in Apple Park in Cupertino. Uh, their brand new theater, and we're looking at the brand new iPhone 8. And the most obvious thing you're going to notice when you pick up one of these things, this is the iPhone 8 Plus, is that it now has a glass back. Apple says it's the hardest glass ever put on a phone, sure. It does pick up fingerprints, but really not that bad, and it's got sort of a nice cloudy finish under the glass, so it, I think it looks way better than the 7, actually. They also did a really good job blending the glass into the edge of the, uh, the rail on the side. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much like the iPhone 7 that you know. It still has Touch ID, unlike the iPhone 10. It still uses that, you know, force touch thing, so it's not a physical button. On the back is two 12, 12 megapixel cameras, and then, of course, the regular iPhone 8 just has one. Uh, but on the 8 Plus, it's actually really impressive because it uses optical image stabilization, so your telephotos will be a little less shaky. And when you jump into the thing, you can go right into portrait mode, and you can choose all these different options that will automatically adjust the light. And when you point it at somebody's face, let's see if we can identify this guy here, it will, yeah, we gotta, we gotta move closer, and it will automatically set it to the stage lighting. Apple, of course, has a bunch of sample shots here. So this one's really impressive. Here's the portrait, and we can adjust. So here's what it looks like with the effects. This is the original photo. Uh, they were able to identify the face and then apply a bunch of different lighting effects to just the face, uh, which is really impressive. Is it as impressive as actually doing a thing with the DSLR? Yeah, maybe not, but it's way better than any other camera gimmick I've seen before. Inside, there is a new chip. It, Apple calls it the A11 Bionic. It's a fast chip, you know, they're always faster. Uh, the display is a Retina HD display, and it has True Tone, like an iPad Pro. And what that means is the it will detect the ambient light, the color of the light, and automatically adjust the color of the screen to match the light, which is really cool. So if you jump into the brightness settings, you can turn True Tone on and off. Of course, the lighting in this area is very nice and bright white, so you can't see a difference. But if it were like a yellow room, the screen would adjust so it wouldn't look so harshly blue, which is pretty cool. Another thing I'm really happy with, it has stereo speakers. This speaker at the top gets really loud alongside the speaker at the bottom, so when you're watching movies, you hear it on both sides. No, there's not a headphone jack. Life goes on. Um, but one thing I didn't mention, because it has a glass back, it supports wireless charging with the Qi standard. That's QI. If you see QI, it'll work. And you can just set it down. And Apple's promising that in the future, it's going to create an all-new charging standard that'll work with many, many devices at the same time, intelligently and automatically. So here you go. This is the iPhone 8. It's going to be available on September 22nd. The regular model starts at $699 for 64 gigs, and the Plus is 100 bucks more. For much more from The Verge, please check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash The Verge.